Yes, yet another, not even a last try, this is a revisit, and it's not even that I want to get seats out of the way. It's just that I've been, well I still have, I must confess, I still have plenty left, but I've been using them a little faster than I anticipated, and I want to make sure that I have enough to get them done. Or do the videos, I mean. Also, I'm a bit bored, a bit antsy due to my shoulder. I'm not working nearly as much as I would like to. In fact, I may be out of a job soon. Oh well. But anyways. Thunder Heritage Limited number four. This is the one that when I bought the, I'm gonna call them a sample pack because it was five of these, but they were all different. So I'm calling it a sample or a trial pack. This was the one that I was the most hesitant about. Oddly enough, now that I'm doing it properly, it's the one that I'm I'm not using the most, but I've been enjoying a lot, and it's a bit bizarre. Pouch. And again, I put it in my upper lip, take it to the side, it's about right, so I'm gonna move it a little bit back, we're right there now. Just got that cooling sensation. And after I finish that sensation, I, the tingle, or burn, probably from, I think it, I think it's from the nicotine, just happened, just pretty much as soon as I finished that sentence. As I've stated before, I'm not a big fan of licorice, though this isn't really licorice, it's more anisette, which is... I know it could be argued that there's really no difference, but to me there is. Like, I like red licorice, I like red licorice candies, I'm not I'm not much a fan of the hard licorice candies, but black licorice to me is just... Old man's candy that I don't like. My grandfather, who I re respected a lot, my grandfather liked black liquors, but he kept them um, Twizzlers in his den for himself and for the grandkids, like myself and my sister and my cousins. But the black licorice I just never liked, and I don't think I'm ever going to. But this has more of a sweetened aniseed flavor. It reminds me a bit of the... I had to look over aniseed extra, the Wilson's of Shiro nasal snuff. But this, the Wilson nasal snuff is a more natural and I said this is uh sweetened like this isn't really this is more licorice made from anisette than it is anisette but in regards to the licorice it's definitely not black licorice And the reason why I've been, I should say, I'm not really enjoying the reason why I kind of favor this over the rest of those, the number five, I honestly I don't think I've tried ever since I've been doing these correctly, but the reasons why I've been enjoying this one more is because the flavor is there. 
see one through three. Like number two, the flavor was definitely weak, but the other two, the flavor was there, but it was very, very faint. Here the flavor is like it's again it's it's a step above it's a couple steps above weak. Like it's subdued. But it's present. You know it's liquor. You know it's liquor. You know it's there. I'm actually getting it on the side and back of my tongue, which is probably due to the saliva being there. But it's def it's definitely there. There is no question. It's just it's uh. It's by no means a strong presence. It's it's a wallflower. Like you, you know, you know it's there. You see it, nor in this case you taste it. But it's by no means. You know, let me put it to you this way: If I were craving licorice or anisette, I'd be taking the nasal snuff or. Actually buying a scene of Twizzlers or, well in this case because this isn't right like licorice, but buying a scene of something licorice, a candy, a licorice flavored candy or an set or what have you instead of this. But this is, the licorice is there. No doubt about this, this has flavored, although it is by no means a strong or even a medium flavor. It's it's a it's not weak. It's a couple steps above weak. Couple steps above faint. But again, a, a rating from one to a hundred, just in regards to how the flavor. I'd say it's about forty. Actually, no, no, forty is below average. I'd say it's uh. 50 in regards to the presence of the flavor. It's there, you feel it, you know it's there, it's average. But it's not like it's it's not oh wow, this is definitely licorice. It's oh it's licorice, I know it's licorice, it's there, but unlike the other, it's not a it's not nearly as subdued or as faint. And because it's not as offensive as I thought it was going to be, and it's definitely present, for some reason I've, oddly enough, been enjoying this one more, although I haven't been using it as much. I don't know why. <laughs> Again, there's the nicotine presence. I mean, that burns there, although I don't, well. I'm feeling a tingling sensation, but I think that tingle is more due to that cooling effect. It might be the nicotine, but the cooling effect is still there. And it's been almost nine minutes. The others, the cooling effect would have been gone by now. There might still be a tingle. That tingle or that burn. The burn's no longer a burn. It's a tingle, though. By burn, I by no means mean a... Like, it's not... It's... Not pleasant. But it's not unpleasant either. It's just sort of... Is there and for me anyways I don't dislike it I don't like it it's just present it's sort of a almost like a background noise but not obnoxious it's the one you sort of ignore I wasn't feeling well okay I was feeling a bit of not even pain, it's a bit of discomfort in my 
shoulder and it's gone now. That might be due to the nicotine. I don't know. I'm just saying that whenever I take these in my shoulder and I have pain, suddenly the pain's gone. <coughs> I don't know if that's due to the nicotine. I've never felt it before in regards to nicotine when I was smoking my just not even when I was smoking, not when I've never took a cigarette in regards to pain management, nor a pipe, but my C's and <coughs> with the pouches and even the dry stuff, if I'm in pain, and for me pain, the pain's really more of a discomfort, it's by no means a like, I've never really felt the need to take a painkiller unless I'm going to bed, and even then, the pain's more of a distraction or a annoying presence, and a ow, 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 I need to take something, and say, I gotta go to bed, and this is going to keep me up. And that's pretty much why I take a pain pill, though I haven't been taking pain pills lately. And in regards to just effectiveness considering pain management like <coughs> it's probably unhealthy or not as healthy just due to the fact that it's tobacco and probably the nicotine doing it but The pouches and the dry snuff have been working significantly better than the actual anti-inflammatory pain medication now. The pain medication does work, it just takes a while. Whereas these, it's, like the dry snuff, it's not necessarily immediate, especially in regards to the shoulder. The shoulder, it takes about half a minute to 45 seconds. But if I have a pain in my head, the dry stuff pretty much gets rid of it immediately. And it doesn't come back for a while. It, I can't stress this enough, it doesn't come back in a while. Same with I take these, and it was, in regards to both Headaches, which are, again, not even really a, an ache, it's more a mild annoyance than an actual headache, and even with the shoulder, like, yeah, I can't move it, and when I do my physio, it does get painful, especially when I do the one exercise. The one exercise is, it's the one I dread, because I know it's going to be painful, but the rest, like, I feel the pain, but it's by, it's by no means an ow, 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 I need to get rid of this, it's an worst case scenario, I'll just wait it out, or again, lately just take one of these, whether it's the pouches or the dry snuff. As far as the rating, that's going to be odd, because it's definitely above average. So the rest have been above average, but in regards to this... Like, I like it a little more. So I'm going to be rating it a 65. Definitely solid 65. Not higher, it doesn't deserve a 66, it doesn't deserve a 64, it's a 65 for sure. And again, although that might seem low, you gotta bear in mind that for me, when I rate something out of 150 is straight down the middle of average. I don't like it, I don't dislike it, it's not dead, it's not bad, it's average. Anything below 50, I don't like. Anything above 50, I do like. 50 is just 
middle of the road average. If it were a rating system, uh, if it were a grading system, like A, B, C, D, F, uh, 50 would probably be a C. This is a C plus, maybe a B minus, but if it were a B minus, it'd be a low B minus. If it were a C plus, it'd be an average C plus, maybe a bit above average C plus. So you have to bear that in mind when I do the ratings out of a hundred where Anything above 50 is okay. 50, even 50, 50 is just okay. Anything above 50 is better than okay. Anything below 50 is worse than okay. 50 to me is the average. Although I don't see myself buying any of these products again, this one, although I don't foresee myself purchasing another tin, even if it's just one tin, I don't intend to. But I very well might in a future purchase months, months down the road. And again, in regards to just the nicotine, the Am I going to be craving something afterwards? Like, again, I quit cigarettes by sheer accident. I... I don't really crave... Nicotine. I'm... By no means addicted to it, I think, anyways, but... In regards to just simply wanting something with... Nicotine. I don't need it, but in regards, I've never needed nicotine, but in regards to just want, desiring something with a nicotine presence, this, these work. And in my initial reviews, I didn't think they were. Now that might be due to just leaving it in the front of my lip. But again, ever since I've been putting it to the side, I've been significantly improved. Like, I will be using these, even the ones I find disappointing. Like, before I just thought these were all bad, but now I'm just, like, a few of them are not as good, but I am going to be using these up. I'll probably be using them up. All five of them might be gone shortly after Christmas. Might be gone before the New Year's. Uh, I can't guarantee it. I do like this one though. This one thus far though, number five, I haven't for some reason has just been neglected and for it's a pomegranate and I mean I pomegranate for me is a treat, so why I've been neglecting the pomegranate flavor, I don't know. But of the four out of five that I've been more or less using regularly ever since I've discovered how to properly use it, which is put it to the side, this one has been the best out of the bunch. 
is by no means a wow, I am going to be getting this again though in regards to this one, I might. I don't intend to, but I might. <coughs> Excuse me. But this one thus far has been the best. Number five, which I might even do again today. But I might do tomorrow just simply to wait it out, but... As I said, out of, from one to four, four is the best, two is the worst, three, one and three are, actually is two even the worst. Two is the most bland. I may not, I don't remember it being the worst. In fact, I probably have to do a side by side comparison of which one is the worst out of the two. But number two is definitely the most bland. And number three is the most offensive, though it's by no means an offensive flavor. It's just, uh, the flavor that's there is a little off-putting. It's, again, it felt like a bad lime or a old lime than a fresh lime. Whereas number two, although the tin aroma is definitely the most, the best out of the floor, he actually, out of the four, the actual flavor, and you gotta bear in mind, I actually put in two pouches in the video of number two, but just simply out of the flavor. It's barely there, and this one, like, it's been over 20 minutes, and the flavor, although it's, right now the flavor is weak, but it's la it's still there. It's lasted this far, and I can still detect it. Although it's by no means as present as it was five minutes, five to even ten minutes ago. And again, it's shocking because I was not expecting to like the licorice. And yet, it's the one that I've been, when I take it, it's the one that I enjoy the most. So again, that the pomegranate is the number five I have yet to try. And also, the benefit of these and the reason I get these instead of Although I might have to go to Mr. Snuff because Northern no longer ships American products to Canada. But again, if you are a moist snuff or a dipper, these will serve its purpose if you are in an area where spitting is not allowed or frowned upon. <laughs> And as, as again, I keep saying this, but of the four that I've been using ever since I've learned how to properly use it again, again, thanks to Tide Dip and Chew Guy for that. Number four, although it's the one that I've been using the least out of the four I've been using, it's the one that I enjoy the most. I am going to end this, um, I'm not going to take the pouch out as soon as I end this video, but just in regards to, is it time, it's almost there. The flavor is almost gone now, but that cooling sensation. Not a, again, not the burn, not the tingle, that cool. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. But just the cooling sensation is 
still present. And I don't know what's giving that choline sensation. I don't think it's menthol. It might be menthol, but I'm not detecting any menthol flavor. In fact, even in the number three, which is supposed to have a maybe not menthol, but it is supposed to have a minty presence. My video for number three, I was not detecting any mint at all. All I detected was a very not a very past its prime lime. And I did not mean mean for that to rhyme nor that either. <laughs> You know, when I do accidentally rhyme, I find it rather amusing, but you know, that's more of a personal amusement on my part than anything else. The cooling sensation is dying down, though. Though, so again, it's still present. And again, I'm Canadian, it's snowy, it's there's snow outside, it's winter, we're getting to the beginning of winter where it's not even going to be pleasantly cold, it's going to be cold. That's why I'm wearing the toque. Otherwise the toque will be off because I am by no means a hat person or always the usually not a hat person. I might pick up a leather hat. I'm, I don't like wearing caps. I don't know why. And I used to have uh, what's supposed to have been a fedora, but it honestly looked more like an Amish Mafia hat. I used to have one of those, and I just simply got rid of it because it was... I didn't like it. I by no means a hat person. Never really have been. Don't know why. But if I'm wearing a hat, it's probably be because it's weather or temperature related. Like the reason I'm wearing this is to keep my head cool, to keep my head warm. More specifically, my ears warm. I don't. It's not cold in my room, but it is cool. And while I am more of a cool weather person, ever since I've lost almost half my body weight, cold or cold temperatures affect me a lot more negatively than they were when I was morbidly obese. I no longer have like 100 pounds of fat to insulate me. Anyway, so what I suggest is, yeah, this is one that I will definitely say, <clears throat> go out and try. If you're curious, I mean, as to the other products I said, if you're cur curious, buy them anyway, just to satisfy your curiosity. But if you're on the fence, this is one that I will definitely suggest you do get if you're on the fence, because this one... Out of the four that I've been using, this one is the best one in my opinion. In my humble opinion. It's not an unhumble opinion for this where I'm going. This is definitely one you have to buy if you're curious. It's a humble opinion. If you don't buy it. I'm not going to say, well, what's wrong with you? You have to, although in regards to opinions regarding that topic, I don't say you have to try it or you have to buy it or use it anyways, but this is one I will definitely say. I will strongly suggest you pick up if you're curious. The other three is a yes, I would suggest you yeah, pick it up, but it's not a 
my suggestion will be a lot weaker in regards to this one. This one is a I highly, I strongly suggest you pick it up if you're curious. The answers will be a if you were to ask me, I'd say yes, but I'm by it pretty much just be that it'd be a shall I buy it's under limited numbers one through three? I'd say yeah, I would suggest you hold if you're curious. But if you don't, you're not missing out. This is one where I will say if you don't, you'll be missing out on a little bit. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. Have yourselves a good late afternoon, early evening. Take care and bye.